Today on Beyond. A shepherd and a chihuahua square off in a battle for domination. And it's time to call in the pet psychic to find out who started the fight and how is it going to end. But first... Today's the day I've been waiting for. I get to meet James Van Prague and hopefully contact my fiance, Mark, who died from congestive heart failure. I just feel so close to him. I mean, he's my heart. I'm 400 pounds, and my fiance was the one person who accepted me for who I am. When Mark was alive, he was always concerned my weight would kill me. Mark knew firsthand how difficult life can sometimes be for an obese person, as he was nearly 300 pounds. When people look at me and they stare at me and they snicker at me, it hurts. Uh, getting here today, uh, I had to reserve two seats on the airplane and endure uncomfortable stares. Uh, just walking around takes up so much of my energy. I knew today was going to be hard, but if James makes contact with Mark, uh, I'll know he's all right and it will give me the strength to finally lose the weight I need to regain control of my life. Using his extraordinary psychic ability to communicate with spirits, he's transformed lives by unlocking mysteries and sharing secrets from the other side. James Van Prague, best-selling author, renowned medium, and your connection to the world beyond. Hi, Bonnie. Hi. Hi, Bonnie James. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I know that you want to reach your fiancé who yes. passed over? Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, I want to thank you for coming to the show. Thank you. For making the effort to come to the show, I appreciate thank that. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> let me just see who's all here, because you know, some people are coming in here. First of all, your fiance, was there something to do with um, either um, talk about getting an operation or having some surgery procedure done? Yeah. Okay, that's all I want to yes. hear about, okay? He's standing right here with you, and he's holding your hand, okay? And oh is his heart involved in this? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But he knew it. He said, I knew it. He knew it. Oh, he, he had a feeling he knew it. That um, I thought there was also with him earlier on in his life, either a problem with the heart, like a microvalve problem, or something with the beat was a little off, like a murmur or something? Yes, he had a heart murmur. Okay. He had a heart murmur. Okay, because he's going on about his heart was not right to begin with, he's talking about. It wasn't. So much. I'm sorry you had to, used to call him up to come back home or call him up to <laughs> you understand that? I don't know if it was, he yeah. was hanging out somewhere and he used to call up and say, would he come back or where is he? He's supposed to be at my house and he's not here and yeah. like this, okay? Yeah. I don't know if he partied a lot and he was like, you know, all the time. And yes, he did. Because he's telling me he's sorry about not giving you the attention that you deserved. Oh, man. Because um, he should have been more aware of your needs and, you know, the, the, and he was thinking about himself and he shouldn't have. Oh. Do you understand that? Yes, okay. I do. And there's also talk about being jealous of a former girlfriend or a former relationship. Yeah. And that's something you got to let go, of course. Right? Yes, I'll let that go. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> was he cremated? Yes, he was. Okay. And do you still have his ashes or did someone, did you want to get, hold on, did you want to get, hold on, you still had a, a problem with that because either you wanted some of those ashes or you wanted to be able to do something with that, okay? Yes, I did. Because he's telling me he was split in half. <laughs> yeah, basically he was split in half. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because to him it doesn't matter, but more matters to the living than to them because, you know, it's not them, it's just their, their casing, the body. Yeah. But um, I, I also want to say, don't you have the ashes out, sitting out in a thing? Do you have it? I do have them in a container. Okay. Yes, I do. And I, I, I like where you have it. He's referring to where you have this, and he's joking about it, and it's very funny, and he's laughing about it, and he loves it. I so knew he, he would. You did the right thing. And um, I think either his father wore glasses. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Showed me a man's face with glasses. Yeah. And there's also a grandmother behind you, and I want to give you a lot of love from this grandmother figure. I don't know if she helped raise you or she was around you at the time. Yes. But she wants to really tell you she's with you now. And uh, she doesn't want you to feel depressed. You're yeah. getting funks, and you don't have to do that. Wow. You don't have to do that. You don't have to be in a funk. OK. 
okay? Yeah. And um, I'm gonna give you lilies from this grandmother. I don't know why she wants to hand you lilies, but she's giving you lilies. His grandmother? Your grandmother's grandmother. giving you lilies. Oh, wow. I don't know why, but the lilies mean? My that's my birth flower. Okay. Lilies of the valley, yeah, lilies, yeah. She's giving you the lilies. Wow. Your father's passed over? Has yes, it? yes. Because mm -hmm. your father wants to say hello to you. Oh. And he's acknowledging you that he's here. I thought about him today. And he wants to tell you, you have not traveled alone. You've traveled with me. He's been watching you. Okay? Are there two of you, two of the family? Yes, me and my sister. Okay. Oh, honey. You create drama. You create things. He's talking about you creating these scenarios. You're creating these things. I do that. And, and with your sister, okay? And there's stuff you've created with her, and you really need to make that okay again. I will. Please. Yeah. Please, all right? All right. Wow. Um, your boyfriend is going to help you with finding someone else. Is he really? And I know you wanted to know that, he said. But he wants me to tell you that. All right? Okay. Yes. So that's the answer. I probably maybe you had that question. I don't know, but that's what he's telling me. Oh he's wow. Be there. Yeah, because I didn't know if I should go on or not. Yeah, you need to go on. You have to go on. That's why you're wow. here. I think. I think that's why you're here. Yeah. I think spirit. I think he was very influential in getting you here, because he said to me she was nervous about coming here. She wasn't sure she wanted to come here. Yeah. But I felt like this is her last opportunity or something. I said that today because I talked to him a lot. Okay. Well, he was responsible. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. You're so very welcome, much. sweetie. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What was the story about the ashes? He's referring to where you have this, and he's joking about it, and it's right very on. funny. I took some of them and put them in a Superman lunchbox tin because he was into superheroes. You're boyfriend is going to help you with finding someone else. When James said that he was going to help me find somebody else, that just touched me because I know that Mark wants me to go on. Yeah, you need to go on. You have to go on. That's why you're wow. here, I think. I think that's why you're here. I feel stronger now, more courage to actually go out and do what I want to do, and that's to lose weight. There's that's... nothing weak about you, Bonnie. <laughs> you are not a weak girl, so don't even go there. I try I'm not so to be. Yeah, you're not. You're Thank not. You. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, honey. Love you. Still to come. If I was you, I would go to Vegas. I would play slots. I do. You do. <laughs> what makes this woman one of the luckiest James has ever met? The answer is coming up. But first, do pet psychics actually communicate with animals? And if so, how do they do it? She started communicating with my cat who described the inside of my condo. You're going to find out the secret technique from one of the best, next, on Beyond. Welcome back, everybody. Now, when people need help with their pet's behavior problems, they contact our next guest. She's one of the foremost experts in animal communication and has helped many pet owners improve their relationships with their pets. Please, everyone, let's welcome the author of Straight from the Horse's Mouth, Amelia Kincaid. To you. Welcome to the show. Now, first of all, how did you know you had this gift? I discovered this completely by accident. Mm -hmm. About 12 years ago, there was an animal communicator that was working with my vet. Okay. And she blew my mind. So I went into this situation as a skeptic. And she started communicating with my cat, who described the inside of my condo, told her all these things that there was and you're no looking way. Around like, Can I'm like, hear I'm, what's going on here? No kidding. Yeah. No kidding. And she taught a workshop that I took. And from that point on, I've been practicing as an animal communicator. Wow. Now, um, is communicating with live or deceased pets any different from communicating with people? It's exactly the same thing because the spirit inside every living being lives on. So they cross over to the other side, but when that spirit is in your body, it's accessible. This is like a tennis match. I send a picture, they send a picture back. I ask a question, they send an emotion back. 
So you and feel the emotion. If they're absolutely. in pain, you feel it physically. Absolutely. Wow. And okay. everybody can do it. Okay, let's get down yeah. to some business here. We've got a couple of guests who need your help. They're a mother and daughter, and they're trying to solve a feud between their shepherd and chihuahua. Here's their story. We have three cats and two dogs that... Mm, we got Piper four weeks ago? Oh, four weeks ago. We've had Band for about 10 years now. And she's uh, the head of the household, and she has a, a major attitude problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Piper's big, and she wants to play. She's only six months old. Yeah. Piper tries to lick Bandit, and Bandit snaps at her. We hope that uh, Amelia Kincaid can, can help solve this problem, <laughs> get them to, to start getting along. Please welcome Patricia and Bandit, Carrie and Piper to the show. Uh -huh. Now, Amelia, what's going on? <laughs> what can you well, tell? Sometimes these situations are deceptive okay. because the animal that's aggressive might not necessarily be the one that really started the fight. Okay, this is a little diva. She's mm -hmm. the queen of the house. This one came in and she said, it's my couch, that's my bowl. You but can't go so there. Sweet you can't quiet. come in this room. Uh -huh. Well, it's her castle, okay? I see. She's also very protective of her cats. Right? And, and I was getting from her an orange and white cat, something about 18 years. Now, Does Patricia, that mean something to you? Yes, Patricia? Uh, we, we just lost her. He just died. Our 18 year old oh, orange kitty. Sorry. Now, Amelia, let me just be skeptical here for a second. I mean, I could guess just any time you bring a new dog into an environment where one dog dominates, they're not going to get along. They're going to have exactly this situation. Not necessarily. And do you really need a psychic to tell you that? Not necessarily. Um, in this situation, the question is, how do we solve the problem? Okay. You know, and a lot of it's going to have to do with <laughs> talking to her and telling her that she has to be more giving and learn how to share. She's got to learn respect, and that's tough because these, these animals are pack animals. They, she would learn from a larger female shepherd mm -hmm. or even a big male shepherd. But she trying to learn the ropes from a little tiny dog is kind yeah. of embarrassing. Is that why she doesn't want to take it from a little one? Is that It's size? tough on the ego. Okay. Um, the biggest problem that people make with animals is that they visualize what they don't want. And we have to start sending out the positive messages so that the animals will see that scenario. When you start envisioning these two living harmoniously together, mm -hmm. keep their possessions separate so they don't have to share things. Okay. So they both have their own property. What is the name Sally, Sal, Sal? Sal is my dad, and she just adores my dad. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, she's also showing me a little a yellow bone, little yellow chew bone. <laughs> she has a little plastic yellow bone. Whoa. Like, oh, okay, this one twice, is yeah. a hot pink stuffed something. <laughs> hot pink elephant stuffed Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's her favorite thing. Now, what is Bandit telling you? I mean, is she going to make some effort to get along with Well, Papa? she's a little disgruntled with this situation. Mm -hmm. She didn't pick it the way this, this happened. Okay. This is a territorial battle. It's going to take a little while to solve it. They will solve it. Oh, that's amazing that you picked up on that. It's also amazing you know the name Sal and also mm -hmm. the orange cat. We got to mm -hmm. give that to you. There's something yeah, psychic like going on. I'm not exactly sure how you did it, but you did. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you both. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks, Thank Amelia. That was great. Thank you. I love these dogs. They're so yeah. cute. We'll be Thank right back. Next, her deceased twin explains to her sister why she was pulled back from the brink of beyond. Find out the reason next. We now join James in the audience. Is there someone who lost a twin? A twin passed over? Or okay, you lost a twin? Yes, I did. Okay, how long ago was this? Uh, four years ago. Okay. Was it another woman? Was it a woman or? Yes. Identical. Sister. Mm -hmm. There's a Bob somewhere? My husband. Okay. Is he still around here? Oh, yeah. I want to give love from a father figure there also, from Bob's father, okay, in spirit. Give it to him, please. And um, who had the hip operation or has bad hip? Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you going to be... Yeah, your sister's talking about either getting something redone again or something's not finished yet. Right. You understand that? I and do. she's with you all of the way. You are so connected with her, and um, you will not need to depend on anyone. So don't ever worry about that. Because she said, my sister worries about being like, you know, invalid or, or, or worry, and people taking care of her, and you won't have that. Do not worry about that, please. 
I feel kidney problems too. I'm not sure if your sister had the kidney. Uh, what's I have another sister who's having kidney problems. Okay, okay, because your sister here is talking about kidney problems, right? right? Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting how she's saying this. She's telling me that events in your sister's life have made this occur. I understand. Okay. So your sister in spirit is trying to help your sister with the kidney situation. She's with the animal that passed over. Oh. Okay. She has her animal there. I don't know what it is. Yes. Some animal. She's talking about an animal here. She's done pet recently passed, okay. and I just found that out. Oh, okay. So. And she's talking about having a newspaper clipping of her. <laughs> yes. I don't know what that means, but she's <laughs> having this newspaper clipping, and you were looking at it. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. I also am being shown new keys in your hand. So when I see new keys, it can either be new new car, new house, you know, opening up a new there's a newness right. to it. Okay? It's very strange. I don't know what it means. Do you have a son, by the way? Uh yes. Okay. And is he married? Getting married. Okay. Soon. Okay. Because talking about marriage with him, and I almost feel like that might be the house for him, or there's gonna be a new house for him, but you're gonna be involved in it. And the same this is so bizarre. When you when he gets his house, it feels like you're inheriting something from someone else. I understand that. You do understand that, good, because yes. I don't. Like, as long as you do, it's yours, <laughs> not mine. Okay? It's so right on. And I'm yes. going to tell you something else. You have a very strong lucky streak. You have a lot of luck. You've come into this lifetime. You know, there's positive karma and negative karma we learn. But you have earned a lot of positive karma, if you want to call it that, or good energy. And you have a sense of luck. And it's when you're down in the dumps that all things will work for you. If I was you, I would go to Vegas. I would play slots. I do. You do. <laughs> And you do well Thank there. Thank you for validating that because it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend we're going to Vegas together. Absolutely. And because um, a lot of luck there. It's like, you know, your energy is really, a lot of luck is drawn to you. Um, your sister has a great sense of humor. I'm also going to tell you that she's, this is so funny. I don't know, when you were kids, if you took dance class together? Yes, you did. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's talking about that. And she's saying <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> I don't think bunny means something to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. We won't go into that. But, but bunny, she's talking about bunny, acknowledging that. And I also want to tell you that she wants you to know she's going to be dancing again or take, she can dance where she wants to, where she, now. Oh. And it's something she always wanted to do again also. Absolutely. And she's able to do that, okay? I don't know if you live by the ocean or if you yes. have a house on the ocean, but she loves to be with you by the ocean, the house on the ocean she's talking about, okay? I don't know if there was once a close call in a car crash or a car accident with you. Yes. Because she's telling me that you survived because you were meant to. That you were meant to. And that you had your protecting angels around you that you were meant to survive that. Yeah, thank you. Yes. And I think there might even have been a near-death experience that you might have had. Yes. Okay. Because she's referring to that. Like the tunnel and the light. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Just, yeah. <laughs> Goosebumps. Yeah, I know. Just think how I feel. <laughs> I, let I me have, feel. I have geese bumps. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, she keeps on talking to me about you doubting yourself, and please stop doubting yourself and get out of that headspace about Thank doubting you. yourself, you know, and start, you know, she wants you to start dancing again, like sort of thing. Like, have that mindset, and don't let the hip thing get you. Let's, it's, so let's see, weekend Vegas dancing. Honey, we're going to have a good time. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll leave you with that. God Thank bless you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Is there someone who lost a twin? How did she die? She died of lung cancer four years ago. And it was uh, very sudden. She found out she was ill, and six months later, she died. I miss, I miss her very much. Yeah. I don't know if there was once a close call in a car crash or a car accident with you. Yes. Because she's telling me that you survived because you're meant to. A uh, semi-truck was coming at me, and I just got the heck out of the way and ran into a building, and uh, it was amazing. Yes. And I think there might even have been a near-death experience that you might have had. It was my time to come back, but um, I, can, I can understand the charm, you know. <laughs> was there a moment in this reading that blew you away? All of the moments did. He so you were never essence. skeptical about any Not time in the reading? Not a minute. He was amazing, just amazing energy. Well, I'm glad it was positive for you. It was Thank very you. positive. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. If you'd like a chance for a reading with James, send a letter to Beyond, P.O. Box 4399, Hollywood, California, 90078.
As we leave the show today, I just want you to remember, always, that life is a gift. It's precious and should never be taken for granted. So live your life the best you can. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Summit lost two brothers here. Lost two brothers. You did? Can I come to you, please? The two brothers are here. I've got to come to you.